All right, here we are at 1088 North Harbor Drive here in Deltona. There's the front of the house. Got a lot of plants all around you, a lot of growth, which is nice, makes you feel very secluded. Here's across the street. Here's next door. Again, right on the other side of this house is the road that we turned in. Um, but you're looking at a three bed, one and a half baths. 1,115 square feet. All right, so we walk right in here to the living space as well as the kitchen. You get really nice high vaulted ceilings, popcorn uh, that you can see. Got a little dust coming out of the HVAC ducts. It's not a terrible thing, but it just tells you that the filter has been cleaned in a while, but that's something that can be taken care of pretty easily. You've got this really long, uh, looks to me to be granite, kind of bar height. They've got some bar stools on one side and they've got some other kind of chairs here. A really large area. They have it set up as a little dining area, TV room over here on the side. But here is the kitchen. It looks a little uh, home project style here um, of installation on stuff. You can just tell uh, you got paint kind of dripping in on stuff. It's just an indication that it may be done by somebody else, but the cabinets are nice. They are real wood. Stainless steel appliances. Need a little bit of love, but they're fridge air, which are the they're kind of their bottom line uh, grade cabinets. You do have a larger sink in here, which is great. It looks straight out. You got a little pantry right over here. Door's a little jammed up with the water down there, but decent sized pantry. Immediately to your right is your one car garage which is packed to the Mac. Let's see if I can find a light switch. Here we go. Very, very packed, obviously, but we see this a lot when people get ready to sell. Um, they kind of junk up the garage, not junk up the garage, but pack up the garage so the house feels a little bit more open. Uh, we've got a brand new, looks to be electrical box on here, which is really great to see. 150 amp for the main service. You have your washer and dryer. Here is your water heater that looks to be original. Copper plumbing, original to the house. That's actually better than other stuff that you could have. Um, door to the side of the house. And also here's the flooring that's in the house as well. It's kind of a tan gray tile. There are some paint marks on there as well. Again, just a, kind of an amateur paint job here. Nothing that can't be fixed pretty easily. And there's a little bit of a gap in between here. The wash, the dishwasher, obviously that should be brought out a little bit. We walk over here again. Here's the little living space that they have set up. It's a little tight, obviously, but they're kind of wasting a little bit of space back here just to give you an FYI. So here is bedroom number one, right by the front door. Looks like they're using it as a office and a bedroom. It does have two double doors. Go down the hallway. Another linen closet. Here is your master. So the light switches aren't working for some reason. Let me see if I can get this turned on. There we go. So decent sized master bed. This looks to be a full in here. 
um, but really good space. A lot of furniture in here. Here is your closet. So you do have a pseudo walk-in closet here, so I can't find the light switch in here, but it is decent size. This is an additional rack that they put in, but you do have the hangers that go straight back into the side. Here is your bathroom that you can see that they have updated. So you got this nice vanity right here. Again, the master does not have a shower in it. So let's go to the other one. Maybe we won't consider that the master, but here is your one full bath between bedroom number two and bedroom number three. So the master does have what you would consider the toilet and sink in there. And you got the full bathroom here for both bedrooms. Same kind of style of updated vanity. Again, the whole house probably needs a little bit of a paint work, but a really nice style here. Really nice gray tile. Sorry, the other bedroom that we were just in does have carpet through it. You're into the third bedroom. No fan in this bedroom. They just have one single bulb. That's something that can be easily added in. I don't know why that happened. And then there's your closet. Interesting. Here is the AC, I can hear it. Nope, that is not the AC. It's the AC and it's got to be in the ceiling where I can't get to. So, we'll run out back real quick. Sorry, I'll open this up. I can't get the pin out of the door, but you do have a really nice large uh, backyard here. You've got a nice covered porch. You've got vinyl fences on the right and vinyl fence on the left over here, which is great. So really large backyard. The wood fence on the back needs a little bit of love, as you can tell. Um, but again, the bulk of the cost of the fencing has already been put up, which is really great. Again, here is the house. Looks really, really clean. Again, needs good paint job. We don't know the age of the septic or the uh, HVAC has copper plumbing, electrical panel looks to be updated. Kitchen, again, I think a good cleaning and updating some of where the, the home project was done here on this uh, for the painting side as well as some of the cabinet work could easily update this home. Let me know what you think.